I am the Scrappy Wife behind ScrappyWife.com and today I have an art journaling process for you. Um, I don't really know where the page is going to take me but I know I want to use this beautiful vintage uh, napkin with butterflies. You can see it has some metallic qualities to it so I love this napkin. I plan to use this and then I bought this set of paints. These are all metallic paints from Target from their Handmade Modern collection. And I'd like to use some of the metallic elements in there. And then lastly, I got this on clearance at Michael's and it's Jane Davenport. It's the Making Faces line and these are called their journal tattoos. And I love these rub-ons. I'm excited to use these. So with these elements, I'm going to put together an art journaling page and I'll put you on fast forward and we'll get started. Okay, here we go. I'm gonna look at these Jane Davenport journal tattoos. I'm trying to decide which page I'm gonna use. So I take a quick glance and then decide to put them to the side. The first step I'm going to do is to adhere this napkin down onto the page. I'm using the Liquitex Matte Gel Medium. I find that it doesn't get too sticky in my art journal so the pages don't stick together, but it really gives a good bond for these napkins. So I give a nice coverage over both pages place the napkin on top of that, um, use my fingers to work out any wrinkles that I see, and then I'm going to put another coat of the matte gel medium on the top. Once I'm happy with the coverage, then I'm gonna pull out my heat gun and give it a nice little dry right there. And then I will trim off the edges along the sides of the journal and see where my layout goes from there. Now, off camera, I did take the time to fussy cut out a few of the butterflies that were left over from around the edges, the pieces I cut out, and I will use those later in the spread. Now, this is a honeycomb stencil that was just in my stash. I have no idea where it came from, and I'm gonna use it to add some of this metallic paint to my spread. I have found that the easiest way is to just use my fingers. I feel like it gives me a lot of control, and yes, it's messy, but it's also kind of fun. And this particular paint is a little bit thicker, so you do get some dimension. You'll see me work with this copper color first and then decide to go with gold. I add it throughout the page, leaving that circular part free from the paint. I try to highlight that circle even more with the honeycomb pattern, and you'll see me kind of work around the edges here, working the colors, alternating them, and um, trying to add it throughout the spread. Now, a tip when using these stencils is to never work to the edge of the stencil. That gives you kind of a harsh line. Work in the middle, kind of feather out the edges. That way you're not left with a rough line or a harsh line. You get kind of a, a more gentle impression that way. Finishing up with some gold right here, and I'm starting to feel really pleased with the way this page is coming along.
journal tattoos from Jane Davenport are so fun and they are such an easy way to add some cool elements to any page and it is so tempting to just hoard them or to just use one face or two faces and I decided to just throw caution to the wind. I cut out all of the faces that I found very interesting and started placing them around the page. I love how that girl's hair kind of sweeps up around the edge of the circle and you'll see me continue to cut out. I kind of fuss with them, move them around the page. These are fun to use. They are just, they're just so great. And I could buy a thousand packages of these and not get tired of her drawings or just the ease with which these work in the journal. They apply so easily over whatever is already there, over the matte gel medium, over the acrylic paint. They adhere really well. They're not hard to do and they're just, they add a really nice punch to the page. All you have to do to adhere these to the page is pull off the white backing, lay it down, and then use a popsicle stick, a coin, something like that to really work, rub it onto the page. If you miss a spot, if it doesn't adhere, it's easy enough to lay it back down and rub again until all of the lines are filled in. They are so easy to work with. Anyone can do it at all. Once the girls are adhered to the page, you'll see me go and grab these butterflies. Those are the ones I fussy cut from around the edges of the napkin. And I'm going to add them to cover up some of the white space that I'm seeing. And I like how they overlay and add another layer and dimension onto the spread. I adhere them with the same Liquitex matte gel medium and trim off the edges just like before. I'm loving these girls, so I decided to add a little bit of detail. I grabbed for the Jane Davenport glitter markers. They are called glitzy markers, and I grabbed the pink. I'm gonna add pink to all of the lips of these ladies, and then I'm gonna go back to those paints that you see in the upper right-hand corner, and I'm gonna use those acrylic paints to add some eyeshadow. Oh, first I have this glitter. This is a glitter paint pen, and I'm adding it over the top of the pink markers to give a little glitz to those lips make them just a little bit more luscious and then you'll see me grab for that acrylic paint i'm going to use the gold acrylic paint to add a swipe of eyeshadow over 
each of these ladies and then I'm also going to use copper in the hair. By adding these metallic elements, it makes the black lines look a little bit less harsh against my background, yet it still makes it pop. It gives some more interest to these girls. The last thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use one of my Jane Davenport Mermaid markers. I believe this one is called Seashell, perhaps? That's the one I'm using, or maybe it was Sun Kiss. So I'm gonna use that to add a little bit of color to the cheeks, just a touch to give them a little bit of a rosy cheek. You see me, I apply it and then I use my finger to kind of rub it in and smudge it out so it's not a harsh line. It's hard to see on camera, but it adds just a touch to, to give them a little bit more of a skin tone. going to be Be Your Own Beautiful and I'm a big fan of these tiny alphas from Michaels and I'm gonna spell out Be Your Own Beautiful one by one. I will skip forward so you don't have to watch me stamp every one of these letters. my page needs a little bit more black detail to it so what I'm gonna do is grab some black acrylic paint water it down in the top put some paper towels underneath and add some black paint splatters all around the edge just to draw some of the black that's in those outlines of those ladies to draw it to other parts of the page the more water that you have the bigger the drops are going to be. And so I wanted some clumpy drops as I went. They kind of got thinner and I had to go back and add some more water to change it up. And my goal was to stay all around the edges of the page. And then I hit that with the heat tool, making sure it's nice and set. And I'm feeling pretty good about my page. A little bit more detail with that gold glitter marker, just adding tiny bits of glitz. This whole page is metallic and it kind of shines and I just love it. It's beautiful in the sunlight. Um, oh, I found one little part of her hair that I forgot to add the metallic paint to before. The last step you'll see, I found these Park Lane rhinestones from Joann's and they have the pink and the gold. I'm going to use them to kind of highlight my title. I chose smaller font for my title because I wanted it to all fit nicely in that circle. So with these dimensional stickers, they're kind of gemstone stickers, it's going to bring some attention to that title a little bit more and have your eye trail and connect it to the rest of the page. After that, I am done. I'm super pleased with this page. If you like what you saw, feel free to give me a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button. If you have any questions, please let me know in the comments below. Otherwise, I hope you have a great day. Keep it creative.